Have you ever wondered how some animals can regenerate their body parts like a sci-fi movie? Enter the axolotl, a type of salamander native to Mexico that takes the concept of regeneration to a whole new level. Unlike many creatures that can only regenerate a small portion of their body, axolotls are the masters of self-repair. Imagine you lose a limb, a daunting prospect for sure. But for an axolotl, it's simply a minor setback. They can fully regenerate lost limbs, and not just once, but repeatedly throughout their lives. Beyond limbs, axolotls can also regrow complex organs like their heart, liver, and lungs. But the marvel doesn't stop there. Astonishingly, axolotls can even regenerate parts of their brain and spinal cord. This is a feat that remains unparalleled in the animal kingdom. It's as if they have their own personal team of microscopic construction workers, ready to rebuild at a moment's notice. So, when it comes to self-repair, axolotls are the real-life superheroes. What if you could change your appearance on demand to evade danger? A fascinating thought, isn't it? Well, meet the Mimic Octopus, a creature that has turned this thought into a reality. Native to the warm waters of Southeast Asia, the Mimic Octopus is a marvel of adaptation and survival. Possessing the extraordinary ability to alter its appearance and behavior, this octopus imitates other marine animals to deceive predators and hunt unsuspecting prey. From the venomous lionfish, to the flatfish that hides in the sand, and even the toxic sea snake, the mimic octopus can convincingly impersonate a wide array of marine species. Its shape-shifting abilities go beyond mere physical transformation. The mimic octopus can also mimic the behaviors of the creatures it impersonates, adding another layer to its deception. This clever creature is essentially a living, breathing, theatrical performance, constantly changing its role to survive in the vast underwater theater. The mimic octopus is the master of disguise in the underwater world. What if you could see colors beyond the human spectrum? That's the reality for the mantis shrimp, an aquatic Picasso that paints the world with a complex array of colors beyond our comprehension. Their eyes, equipped with up to 16 types of photoreceptors compared to our meager three, allow them to perceive an extraordinary range of colors and polarized light. Imagine seeing the world as a kaleidoscope of colors, where even the subtlest hues pop and shimmer with life. This isn't just for show, though. The mantis shrimp uses its rainbow vision for crucial tasks like hunting prey and spotting predators. In the grand tapestry of nature, the mantis shrimp stands out, not just for its vibrant colors, but for its unique way of experiencing the world. It's a reminder that there's more to the world than meets the human eye. The mantis shrimp's eyes are like a sophisticated color palette, painting a world we can barely imagine. What does it take to survive in the harshest conditions imaginable? Well, if you're a tardigrade, also known as a water bear, it takes an exceptional resilience that's nothing short of extraordinary. These microscopic animals aren't just tough, they're virtually indestructible. Every aspect of their biology is built to withstand conditions that would be lethal to most other life forms on Earth. Imagine a creature that can endure extreme temperatures, from the blistering heat of over 100 degrees Celsius to the freezing cold of near absolute zero. Picture an organism that can withstand pressures six times greater than those found at the bottom of the deepest ocean trench. Visualize a being that can survive doses of radiation that would instantly annihilate other life forms. And if that's not enough, consider a creature that can live in the vacuum of space. These feats aren't science fiction. They're the everyday reality for tardigrades. Tardigrades, the tiny survivors, redefine the limits of life. How would your body adapt if you had to reach the topmost leaves of a tree? Picture the towering giraffe, its neck stretched high, nibbling at the lush greenery. This elongated neck, reaching lengths of up to six feet, is a marvel of nature's design, enabling the giraffe to browse leaves from the tallest trees. But the adaptations don't end there. Consider this, when a giraffe bends down to drink water, why doesn't the blood rush to its head? That's where the giraffe's unique cardiovascular system comes into play. Through a network of tightly controlled valves and a large muscular heart, the giraffe's body regulates blood flow, preventing a sudden surge to the brain when it lowers its head. 
So, in the giraffe, we see not just one, but two remarkable adaptations working in tandem. A long neck for reaching high branches and a finely tuned cardiovascular system to keep that lofty head well supplied with blood. The giraffe's adaptations are neck and neck with the best in nature. What if you could generate electricity in your own body? Imagine the possibilities. Well, one creature doesn't have to imagine. Meet the electric eel, a creature that's mastered the art of electrical production. This serpentine resident of South America's waterways has evolved an extraordinary ability to generate electric shocks of up to 600 volts. That's five times the voltage of a standard U.S. wall socket. This shocking adaptation is mainly used for hunting, allowing the eel to stun its prey and easily catch a meal. But that's not all. Electric eels also use their electric shocks for self-defense. Any predator thinking about a quick eel snack might find itself on the receiving end of a powerful jolt. Lastly, these eels also communicate using electrical pulses, sending out low-voltage signals to interact with other eels. Electric eels truly add a shocking twist to the story of animal adaptations. Nothing short of electrifying, wouldn't you agree? How would you survive in the crushing pressure of the deep sea? It's a question that the blobfish, a peculiar creature found in the deep waters off the coasts of Australia and New Zealand, doesn't have to worry about. This is thanks to its unique adaptation, a gelatinous body that's less dense than water. This soft, squishy consistency allows the blobfish to float effortlessly in the water, despite the extreme pressure of its deep sea habitat. It's like a built-in buoyancy aid, allowing the blobfish to bob along the ocean floor without wasting energy on swimming. But why is this important? Well, in the deep sea, food is scarce and energy conservation is key. The blobfish's gelatinous body, while not winning any beauty contests, is an amazing adaptation that allows it to survive where others can't. And so, in its own weird and wonderful way, the blobfish shows us how life can adapt to even the most inhospitable environments. How far would you go to blend into your surroundings? Well, if you're a leaf-tailed gecko, the answer is quite far indeed. Native to the lush forests of Madagascar, these remarkable reptiles have embarked on an evolutionary journey to become virtually invisible. Their secret lies in their unique bodies. They've evolved to have flattened bodies, a stark contrast to the round and plump form we usually associate with geckos. But that's not all. These geckos also have skin flaps that remarkably resemble leaves. From the shape to the veins that run through them, these skin flaps are a testament to nature's attention to detail. These adaptations allow the leaf-tailed gecko to blend seamlessly into its leafy surroundings. Whether it's avoiding a hungry predator or waiting patiently for prey, this gecko's camouflage gives it a distinct survival advantage. With its uncanny ability to disappear into the foliage, the leaf-tailed gecko has truly mastered the art of invisibility. What if your defense mechanism was to turn into a slime ball? Well, that's precisely what the humble hagfish does. These fascinating creatures, often referred to as slime eels, have a unique and somewhat messy way to fend off predators. When threatened, they secrete copious amounts of slime. And we're not talking about a small amount here. We're talking about enough slime to fill up a bucket. This isn't your everyday slime, either. It's incredibly sticky and fibrous, kind of like a net. If a predator, like a shark, tries to take a bite, it gets a mouthful of this gooey substance. But here's the kicker. This slime expands rapidly when it comes into contact with seawater, and it can clog up the gills of the unsuspecting predator. This gives the hagfish a chance to wriggle away leaving the predator struggling with a slime-induced choking hazard. When it comes to escaping predators, the hagfish has a slimy yet effective strategy. What if you had a finger specifically designed for foraging? Imagine being a type of lemur, an eye-eye found in the lush landscapes of Madagascar. Your world revolves around trees and with a specialized elongated middle finger, you've got the perfect tool for survival. This isn't your average finger, mind you. It's a highly adapted instrument, slender and flexible, almost like a twig. It's a woodpecker-like tool for a primate, if you will, with a rhythmic tapping on the tree bark 
An eye eye can detect hollow spaces beneath where grubs and insects hide. Then, with precision, it uses the same finger to extract its meal from the crevices. This fascinating foraging behavior is the only one of its kind among primates, making the eye eye a unique marvel in the animal kingdom. The eye eye's unique adaptation shows us that in nature, necessity truly is the mother of invention.